So who out there loves their ears? In a world of portable gadgets increasingly omitting headphone jacks and a lot of consumer grade gear including kinda mediocre headphone jacks, just what is an audio snob to do? They should buy this. And by this I mean the Fio BTR5. Now a while back I used a Fio BTR3 to talk about the differences in Bluetooth codecs like Aptex and LDAC. And from a quality standpoint, wireless is closing in on cabled connections. Where we still run into issues on portable gear, it's often not the DAC, but pairing decently high quality playback with a powerful amp. And we dance around this a lot. Maybe you can have true 24-bit representation, but can't power decent cans to listen to that quality properly. Or maybe we nail the playback quality, but then we don't get any of the lifestyle convenience. True blue audiophiles might scoff, but I'm not super interested in a phone-driven audio solution that doesn't allow me to handle phone calls. The BTR5 is Fio's top-of-the-line Bluetooth DAC amp, and it covers a huge range of audio situations. First, you'll notice it has two inputs at the top, 3.5 millimeter and a 2.5 millimeter balanced port. And that's a wonderful consideration for folks that are really invested in balanced audio. On the opposite side of this little unit, we've got a USB-C port. I'm always happy to see USB-C on audio gear. Audio companies are often slow to catch up on this techie stuff. Though as a minor gripe, I do wish it came with a USB-C to USB-C cable instead of USB-C to USB-A because the BTR5 can also work as a cabled audio solution over USB-C. Now plug in some nice headphones for your phone, then move them directly over to a laptop, and it's kind of incredible to see a USB audio device this small with wired and wireless playback options. I will admit the build is a little concerning as it's glass front and back with a metal sandwich stripe. It comes with a little plastic clip case and I'd recommend just leaving that on. I don't see any reason to take this off. And the front face has a cute little ticker display to control playback settings, EQ, amp output, and it alerts the user to which codec is being used with your phone. Fio has improved here quite a bit because there's so much to control. Folks used to the simplest version of true wireless earbuds might find this a bit fiddly or a little intimidating. Now, Fio estimates around nine hours of playback on a single charge, and I had no issues running it for a full workday with some room to spare at dinner time. The tech stuff is on point, but this is an audio playing gadget, so how does it sound? Pretty darn good. Measuring output similar to how I test phones, this is one of the best portable audio solutions I've tested this year over Bluetooth on LDAC. It's lower self noise than any phone I've tested outside of an LG V60. The distortion numbers and dynamic range are in similar ballparks. It is, it's performing better over Bluetooth than most of the wired solutions built into our portable electronics electronics or any of the standalone inexpensive USB dongles we've tested. And then you hook it up over USB-C and everything gets a little better still. Noise drops a little more, dynamic range improves. This is a punchy little audio beast. Better still, it's working a solid dual stage amp. Inexpensive earbuds really don't need the total output of what this thing can do, so it's better to dial that back but thirstier cans need some more juice. We are behind the total potential output I can measure from a V60, but the Fio really didn't have any issues driving my DT770s. And this will probably be sacrilege to true audiophiles, but I think it did an okay job driving my Odyssey. Probably not the best option for planar magnetics, but I thought it sounded okay. I can feel a few people bristling but I thought it sounded pretty good. Best of all, this audio tech didn't wreck phone calls. Often something like this is built around nice headphones and maybe we get a built-in mic to use for phone calls. The BTR5 does include microphones if you wanna kinda clip it to your shirt, but it also has support for headset mics on the 3.5 millimeter port. If your headphones have a mic built in, it'll switch over and it will work here. That's really handy. This is the Swiss Army Knife audio gadget 
and I can't find any true weak spot. We can get louder amps in some areas. We can get better standalone audio dynamics in other areas. There are cheaper, techier solutions, but I don't know that I found anything that Venn diagram overlaps so many different audio solutions and handling each one as well as this little bugger right here. So the price should be a little higher. It does several jobs very well and with great crossover gadget support, wired and wireless. This is the price I'm now judging premium portable audio by. So if your phone can't support the headphones you want to use, or you want one solution to properly power good audio for multiple gadgets, this Fio is earning a top recommendation. I'll of course leave some links down below where you can find more info on the FIO BTR5. Maybe shop one of these puppies online. As always, thanks so much for watching, for sharing these videos, and subscribing to the channel. Supporting your favorite content creators has never been more critical than it is today. So I hope you'll check out the links and the merch down below, which help me not pack every video with baked in ads and sponsorships. You can always check out the support page on somegadgetguy.com for a current list of all of my affiliates and partnerships, or you might consider joining the list of names scrolling by from my Patreon, patreon.com slash somegadgetguy. Those are super cool tech pals. Those are super cool tech pals, so I hope you'll check them out. Now, you know where you can find me around the rest of the internet, at somegadgetguy on the Twitters and the Twitch, and the Facebooks and the Instagrams, and I will catch you all on the next review.